Uh, good morning. Uh, do, today is with us Dr. Partap Chauhan from uh, Jiva Institute of Ayurveda. And uh, we would like to talk a little bit about the um, depression. And uh, my question is, what is Ayurvedic approach to depression? Good morning, uh, Jin Dobre. So depression is uh, quite a serious problem now all over the world. And of course, uh, the number of people suffering from depression is growing more and more especially after the COVID, you know, more people are getting into this kind of problem. According to Ayurveda, when we look at this disease, of course, Ayurveda very nicely talks about the connection of body and mind. But beyond mind also, we talk about soul. And in the physical level, we talk about uh, Agni is a very important part, you know, where Agni is responsible not only for metabolism and digestion, but it's also responsible for uh, you know digesting the thoughts, controlling the mind. And there is also a role of our senses, the indriyas, because uh, one of the main you know main cause we can say is when your your senses are not under your control. And these days, so many people they are into using the gadgets and mobile and computer, so they are almost you know have no control. So we talk about that. We also talk about srotas, a very important part uh, where, and especially the manovaya srotas or the mind carrying channels. And of course, the doshas, which are vata, pitta, kapha, especially in depression. Uh, it is the prana vata in the brain and the sadhak pitta in the heart and also bhyan vata, which is responsible for the nervous system. And ultimately, low ojas or bad quality of dhatus, you know. So this is a very, very, very holistic approach in Ayurveda when we deal with depression. And that's why I think it's one of the best ways to, you know, deal with depression. And we have very good, uh, you know, results when we deal with depression because we are doing an overall holistic approach, you know. And uh, my question also is because um, depression is very often... Um, difficult to recognize. So what are the symptoms of this uh, mental problem of, of depression? So mainly, I think the main thing is a person, when a person is feeling sad and he's feeling like hopelessness and he feels empty, he has no interest in doing some, some activity. So, uh, you know, most of us uh, at some point, we do, do experience these kind of symptoms. But when these symptoms are staying for an extended period of time and they're more permanent, then it is uh, called a disease, you know. And of course, uh, if, if we talk about uh, Ayurvedic uh, concept, mostly there are kapha type of symptoms. And of course, in the mind, there is more tamas, mm -hmm. which creates more stagnation. There's no desire to do anything but sometimes there can be influence of other doshas like if there is influence of pitta then a person can also have irritability frustration so i'm giving some simple symptoms so if somebody is also feeling unnecessarily they become angry and they have some kind of frustration or loss of interest in some things which they used to enjoy earlier normal activities and especially no active no interest in doing any kind of you know sports or hobbies and lack of interest in sexual uh, desire is very low also the sleep is disturbed this if you are finding that your sleep is not uh, very deep and you keep waking up in the middle of the night bodily you feel very weak tired there's no not much energy and also uh, digestion is affected so many people they have uh, no desire to eat or low appetite they lose weight or sometimes there is craving, craving to eat more sweets. And uh, again, if there is an uh, involvement of vata there, so there is anxiety and some restlessness is there. So these are some of the symptoms, but ultimately, you know, the person can also become suicidal. They have thoughts of committing suicide and some people even do make an attempt to commit suicide and there are so many other uh, physical physical disorders but primarily when you have not much interest in doing anything you are very sad you are very stagnation your mind is uh, empty and hopelessness and agitated disturbed 
these are some of the common symptoms we can say if somebody is having these symptoms for a long time it's better you just try to look look into it and get a consultation so that you can you can treat the things in early stage is better so, the, so my next question was about the treatment because uh, many people connect ayurveda with the herbal medicine but ayurveda actually has many other tools yes which yes, we can yes. use in treating uh, depression so what what are they what kind of other methods ayurveda is so, using yes so ayurveda you know herbal medicines they are also definitely they are very good especially there is one one group of herbs which is called medhya rasayanas medhya means the herbs that work on your brain on your intellect and of course when depression is there so intelligence is not working properly also that's what we call pragya parad so how to nourish the medha shakti or how to nourish your intellect uh, but you know in ayurveda there are other types of treatments this is what we call the herbal treatment is called yukti vipashara chikitsa mm -hmm. but there is sattva vajra chikitsa means how to enhance the sattva how to control the mind how to motivate the mind how to make the mind positive there are quite a few you know the uh, techniques for that this is called sattva vajra chikitsa in addition we also bring in some breathing techniques meditation also some special mudras are there and overall the environment around the patient what we call the sattvic environment sattvic food sattvic lifestyle and then the third type of treatment is also there which is called dev vipashara chikitsa or it is the spiritual or the divine therapy as they call it you know so spiritual treatments includes includes also lot of activities like you can do an agnihotra in the morning or you do a mantra meditation or you, there are other activities that uh, we guide the patient so overall a holistic approach especially when patient come from all over world to our jiva gram facility in jiva gram we have all these three types of treatments we offer and uh, that's how the treatment part is there but of course most important is we try to understand each patient in a unique way what is the cause whether the cause is of course the cause is at the mind level but which doshas are involved Um, mm -hmm. what is the state state of the agni what is the state of the ojas is the ojas weak or strong so all these things are considered and then we design a personalized treatment protocol so in ayurveda treatments are always personalized based on the root cause of the problem so we can say that uh, if the person suffers from depression it can definitely get some help through ayurveda because yes, of the holistic yes. approach Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Patak. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I wish uh, uh, all the best for this course that you are doing. And I hope all the participants they will really enjoy this course, and they will get benefited uh, by this knowledge of Ayurveda. Thank you very much. Thank Namaste. you very much. Thank you. Namaste.